So we're definitely getting some news about GTA 6 relatively soon. In today's video, we're going to go through some key pieces of evidence that make me personally believe that we're probably going to get screenshots or something in the next couple of months. So Rockstar recently put up a job listing at Rockstar Dundee for a screenshot capture artist. So a post recently went out on Reddit saying, Rockstar opened new job position for a screenshot capture artist. This position is responsible for capturing still footage of gameplay for use in marketing campaigns as well as in the games themselves. They also want the applicant to rapidly master unfinished games which suggests they're in a hurry. This might just be a regular screenshot position and not necessarily related to GTA 6. Now whilst this Reddit post also states that it might just be a regular screenshot position and not necessarily related to GTA 6, but a key part of this job listing is actually talking about unfinished games, which makes this person think and also makes me believe that this might actually be related to GTA 6. So the job listing on Rockstar's website at Rockstar Dundee was for a screenshot capture artist. And then in the what we do section, it says we capture footage of gameplay for use in marketing campaigns and in game. One of the key requirements for this role is to rapidly master new and unfinished games. Now a lot of people have spoken about this saying that it's a bit bizarre that Rockstar would need someone to capture screenshots from inside a game, but it's not just about taking a screenshot of gameplay. What they'll be looking for is someone that can actually capture screenshots in an artistic fashion. So this would be someone with a media and photography background that understands placement of shots and of course obviously an understanding of contextual knowledge around photographs, the rule of thirds, lighting dynamics, etc. They're going to want people that are insanely good at capturing beautiful art work within the game. So between now and GTA 6's release, they're not going to be dropping one screenshot or two posts about the game. From the looks of what I can see here, they're looking for someone that can take them up to the release cycle of GTA 6 to be potentially producing a lot of content for the game internally. Realistically, this person would be on about £30,000 a year, so what, $38,000 or $40,000 a year? They're not going to pay that much money for someone to take one screenshot to be used for artwork. They're going to be utilising that person in a quite an extensive capacity for marketing campaigns for GTA 6's release and of course other games as well. I think the wording of rapidly mastering new and unfinished games is definitely a hint to the fact that there's a sense of urgency about this. Now, in my personal opinion, a lot of people are saying that we're going to be getting screenshots around November sort of time, and I do believe that that's a very likely position for us to be in. The next major earnings call from Rockstar Games is in November, and that's probably our most likely time period for us to receive some big news. Of course, we could get nothing, and we might not hear anything until next year, but if we're looking at the most likely point for us to receive something, around November is the exact sort of time frame that we should be expecting. Last year it was the exact same thing, November the 8th we had the announcement of the first trailer and the first trailer followed a month later. Now before we get into talking a bit more about what this means, I want to say a brief thank you to today's video sponsor, Private Internet Access. When browsing online, whether you're gaming or streaming online content, it's important to protect yourself. Watching Netflix without Private Internet Access is like paying for a director's cut but only seeing the trailer. Private Internet Access helps you overcome all of these restrictions and dangers by giving you the option to change your IP address to one of their 91 countries to choose from and 50 US states, allowing you to gain access to websites and services that are only available in those particular locations. Private internet access works on Windows, Android, Mac, iOS, and many more. And you can use one private internet access subscription on as many devices as you want. And no, that's not one at a time. You can use it on an unlimited amount of devices all at the same time. So if you want to stay protected on the internet, use the link down below to save yourself 83% on private internet access. That's just $2.03 a month. And you also get four months completely free. Now what does all of this mean? Well in my personal opinion I think that they're more likely to release screenshots in November than they are to release a second trailer. The truth is, is that if we were to be getting trailer 2 in November they wouldn't be in a massive rush for someone to capture screenshots. They'll be looking to hire someone that could potentially take three to six months to get the right sort of content from the game. If the screenshots were coming out in November they would need that person yesterday, last week, last month, six months ago. So I do believe that we're more likely to get the screenshots first before we get the second trailer. Now of course with the announcement that we're going to be expecting around November slash December sort of time, I believe personally that this would be screenshots, not necessarily trailer 2. And the reason why I think this is that this emphasis on rapidly needing someone, you know, it's going to take the person potentially a week or so to complete the game or less, and then of course contextual knowledge 
of what shots will look good in the game, creating artwork that sells a story, creating artwork that sells a narrative of what GTA 6 is about. There is definitely a sense of urgency about this. Also, this job listing was one of the first job listings that showed up at Rockstar Dundee. Initially, it wasn't, but it got pushed further up the rankings. So it's very clear this is something they need and need relatively urgently. Also, something that I'd really love to share a light on with you guys, because um, this isn't something that I've really ever spoke about in a massive extent on the channel. In the past, I have worked with games developers and I worked in a marketing role. I know a lot of you guys will know that, but my actual job was a screenshot capture artist, creating screenshot content for social media trailers and of course creating the right formats, the right framing, etc. So this is a job that I would honestly love to do, but I know for a fact that Rockstar would probably sue me into the ground for also being a GTA YouTuber and trying to work for them. So um, being a screenshot capture artist is a huge thing in the gaming industry at the moment. It's not really a job that existed like 10 years ago because screenshots and everything were kind of just taken from gameplay and a lot of game developers still do this but what's really changed in the gaming market when it comes to screenshot capture artists and how the content is actually captured is basically derivative of the rule of thirds now if you don't know the rule of thirds is that if you have an image it's divided up into a grid section so there's three on the top three down the side three at the bottom etc it looks like noughts and crosses or i think you call it tic-tac-toe in america but basically the framing of these shots is very important especially when it comes to stuff like social media usage a lot of social media usage at the moment is portrait orientation four by five then of course there's 16 by nine nine by 16 and of course square and squares predominantly used for facebook advertising so to be able to capture an image that can be cropped to all of these sizes plus contain all of the contextual knowledge about about what's actually happening within the shot is an extremely extremely important skill set to have now doing this stuff in the past what you're essentially given in my instance i was given gameplay footage to create the content out of i was given about 15 to 20 hours of footage to go through and find the best particular frames that would work but for a games developer like rockstar games the way that they'd actually work it is the person would complete the game write down a list of scenes that they feel like they can create content out of then after revisit those particular scenes in a form of god mode where you can freeze frame the game and move the camera around to different areas and capture content now knowing everything we know about social media in gta 6 and there's actually quite a lot and tomorrow i'll be dropping a 20 plus minute long video about social media in gta 6 it's very likely that the tools they'll be using to capture screenshots within the game will probably be tools that will be built into the game itself now to tie this back around social media in gta 6 and capturing in-game content to share within the game social media itself looks like it's going to be a part of the game or at least a add-on feature maybe even a gimmick but it definitely looks like it's going to be part of the contextual build-up of the game, especially being a game based in present times. So it's very likely that the screenshot capture artist working for Rockstar would probably use similar tools that we'll have in the final version of the game. Obviously, there's nothing concrete to support this other than what we saw in the leaks and, of course, in the trailer about social media being a big emphasis for the game. But I still think it's a very interesting food for thought piece, and I'm very keen to hear what you guys think about that down below. So thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, Please remember to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get the channel to 50k subs by the end of the year, so any help you can give is massively appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.